storage permission not showing in android 13 hey everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i will guide you on how you can solve if the storage permission isn't showing on android 13 so make sure to watch the video till the very end now depends upon whichever android version you're using doesn't really matter because storage permission if you're not being able to find it doesn't come in the name of storage permission when you open settings and then you go to apps and then you select a certain app that you would like to allow the storage for let's say eFootball which is a game for example here you can see permissions when you go to permissions it might ask if the app requires a storage permission only you'll find it because if the app doesn't require it you won't find any permissions here so let me show you another app for the just context of this i will just select let's say instagram here if i select instagram and go to permissions here you can see many permissions compared to the previous one that is because the app requires these permissions now you can see allowed and not allowed in case of allowed storage permission does not come in the name of storage access or something like that it comes in the way how the app is going to use the app is going to require to use your photos and videos which comes from your storage so you want to make sure to allow the permission if the app has music and audio type of permission you want to make sure to enable that as well because that also comes from your storage if you don't find those options it means the app simply doesn't require it or you can tap the three dots option from the top right and go to all permissions and then just look for other permissions that it requires over here normally it's going to be under this photos and videos section which you can then use to enable the other permissions if you'd like this way you should be able to go ahead and then enable or fix storage permission not showing on Android. Hope this video was very helpful. If you have got any more questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video.